everybody, Life of the Bridge 2025. Cup number two. Uh, so let's catch you up a little bit. We were at Beaufort yesterday, anchored out. Factory Creek, great anchorage, good hold. A uh, lot of current, a lot of swing. Uh, but, you know, it was good. We stayed uh, Monday night and Tuesday night. We were going to stay another night, but weather's coming in on Thursday. And we didn't want to travel on Thursday in bad weather to get to Charleston because it's about a 70 mile run. And that's statute miles, by the way. If you want a conversion, uh, just go online. But it's a little bit less than nautical miles. Right now, we're looking at 63. Uh, we're in the Kusa River. Northbound, we're behind a trawler. Looks like it may be a sailboat up ahead of that. So, uh, anyway, catch you up on what's been going on. At anchor yesterday, we decided to fire up the generator for a little bit and went down there to fire it up. Batteries are dead. Hello. So, emergency started the engines, which run alternators that charge the batteries like a car and they got a generator fired up and that so the generator powers up the battery charger which then charges the batteries so I shut the engines off and was measuring I, of course the mechanic in me I had my voltmeter down there I'm checking stuff out and I find out that I'm not getting voltage to the, to the batteries out of the charger. The generator's running everything else it's supposed to, so it isn't the generator. Thank goodness. Yeah. Uh, and I don't think it's the batteries because the batteries take charge. And they're only two years old. They're optimal blue tops. So powers of deduction and reasoning and talking with somebody. Uh, basically going to condemn the battery charger, which is probably the original one that came with the boat. And so we are going to get one in Charleston and install that and fix that problem. That was yesterday. Oh boy. Uh, we did wash the boat on top of that. I kind of made it, it kind of became a work day. But we enjoyed our time in Buford. No, we didn't go sightseeing and all that stuff. We just really wanted to chill. It's our first day in Tulane and you know, just getting used to everything. We decided to just take a chill day and wind up not being so chill. Yeah. Anyway, this morning we get up early since it's a long run and uh, take the dog in for her morning business, come back to the boat, fire up everything, go to pull anchor, and don't have a window. Couldn't find a breaker for it. Couldn't figure out why. 
larger issue. Well, that shouldn't cause the windlass not to work. Can't find a breaker for the windlass, so I'm going through my head. What, what did I do, maybe? And then it hit me. So I just kind of giggled to myself. My wife looked at me like, what? So I had her come over and take over driving. I went down in the engine room. There's a little funky looking wire coming in, wire going out. Got a little red button on the front, and then there's an arm that drops down. Push that red button, that arm drops. Guess what that is? That is the cutoff switch, basically, for my windlass. Popped it back in, came up here, turned the button on. Yeah, windlass works. works. Have at it. Learning experience for both of us. So, I'm going to start learning more about the panels and stuff. So, help out more. That's 
we're going to start paying a little more attention when we're planning and plotting. But another learning experience, and yeah, that's kind of what this is all about. We're going to learn as we go. Now, docking today is a little nerve wracking. We're coming inside, but we're on a T dock basically on the inside, which looks fairly forgiving. The tide is not near as bad. As, uh, it's, it's five feet instead of eight feet, which is what we had in Fort McAllister. The winds are blowing about 10 mile an hour though, so that's going to be a, you know, a little bit of a push, but hopefully we can come in against the current. And if we're lucky enough, maybe, maybe, we will get the uh, wind to push us to the dock. So anyway, um, we'll catch up to you again soon, and we appreciate you. Take care.
Yeah. Bridge 2025. Happy Wednesday afternoon. It's four. It is 4:31. By now we have been at the dock for at least a half hour. Yeah. Uh, just getting everything locked down, tied down, turned on, hooked up. Uh, made a great day. Uh, got behind a couple of trawlers that were headed up this way. They had two shortcuts that we had missed and we followed them through shaved probably a good hour of time off at least and shaved a bunch of miles off which saves us fuel yes. um, we've made two 60 70 mile trips now and we're still probably at about half capacity on our fuel tanks but i don't know if i can make it to washa washa without filling up so I'm gonna have to do some studies on that. Port side's a little less than starboard because it was feeding the generator and we had to run the generator more than anticipated. Yes, um, but we're in. I didn't kill anybody, I didn't hit anything. And I mean, literally I've got a boat right beside me with nothing between us but air and fenders. fenders. And I nosed in because it's a finger dock. So think of an H, you know, got the line through here. And then, so you have two boats fit in the finger side by side. Uh, nice marina, heart of downtown, and the bridge behind us. And then MUSC, Sean Jenkins Children's Hospital is right there. So we are definitely heart of downtown, Charleston. Happy to be here. Yes. We'll be here till Sunday, Sunday morning. Um, and then we'll fuel up and get out of here and head north to probably Georgetown. Um, 
I'll do a fuel estimate and figure out if I can make it to wash and wash or not, but we'll see. But it's nice to be at a dock, even though I like anchoring. We can go ahead and fix this uh, electrical problem that we have. And uh, we've already figured out the windlass, so that's good. Yeah, and then after that, we move on. So we're enjoying, as you can see right there, a couple of adult beverages. And we are taking it easy. Uh, so, have a good night. We're going to ride out tomorrow's storm here. Visit with family. Yes. See some sights, eat some food, and just overall enjoy life. Enjoy life. Yes. It looks like it's raining. So, we're going to kind of wind things up and we will talk to y'all later. See ya.